All right, everybody, welcome back to episode 36. My name is Brian Fanzo, and this one actually is episode 36. For those of you that listened on the podcast, not on the live video stream where we record these live every week, um, you'll remember that I, I introed the show, then I had to pause the recording and say, disregard all of the times that I called this actually episode 34 because it was really episode 35. But let's get all beyond that. It is episode 36. I'm excited to be talking today, social media ROI, and a, a really a concept that I call screenshot awesomeness. I'm going to break down what screenshot shot awesomeness is, why I think everyone should be doing it, both online and offline, how you should create a portfolio of awesomeness so that you can prove to your boss, your spouse, maybe even uh, prove to yourself the value of uh, of social media as a whole. But before we get into that, I have a awesome announcement, um, and I'm, I'm beyond excited to share that um, my friends, I, you know, I've been talking about this show for a long time. We hit 100,000 downloads a couple episodes ago. I've been very blessed to have such amazing feedback, amazing um, support with downloads and sharing of this show. Um, I couldn't be more honored by everybody that's kind of supported the show since the beginning. And I'm excited to announce that we have our first long term sponsor of the show and the sponsor is nine spokes so nine spokes if you can if you're watching live you can see the uh, you can see the actual logo here over my right hand shoulder or my left shoulder whichever whichever one that is here on the live broadcast. But uh, Nine Spokes reached out to me uh, working with you know a bunch of different products. I have a lot of people that have contacted me about, hey, how do we get involved? How can we you know, um, connect with your, um, your event? How do, we, how do we help you out? And so uh, Nine Spokes, what Nine Spokes is, and I'm going to throw the URL up here um, below for everybody to, to write that down. But Nine Spokes really is it's a, it's a social business dashboard that allows you to plug in all of your apps apps for your small business. So if you're a small business and you have, you're using multiple different software from social media software to marketing software to financial software, it allows you to leverage kind of the API of those tools and bring them into one smart dashboard, giving you kind of one snapshot of everything that you have going on so that you can make smart business decisions. And the cool thing about this is it doesn't matter if you're a entrepreneur, a small business, it, the real Really, the, the realm and the possibilities of this tool are, are astronomical in the sense that you're able to plug in this, this different data and, and really tweak the dashboards how you want them. You can move them around on the screen. And the nice part about it is as long as you have the, the data and you're, you're leveraging those apps, the tool itself is free and you guys can join for free. So if you're, if you're not driving and you want to write down the URL, just put in the, to your browser, nine spokes.fomofans.live and then just click get started and you can join for free, set up your own um, smart dashboard. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that tool through out these different episodes. I have a YouTube video that will be going live next week on how I'm using the tool. The other thing that's really nice about uh, these guys at Nine Spokes is that you know they're based out of New Zealand and they're really looking for feedback. They're really looking for input on you know how people are would are using the dashboard, what additional apps that they want to see. And you know I'm a I'm a big fan of working with tools and companies that understand the value of community and the importance of really you know connecting and doing something that um, provides value for everyone. And so the idea of this is really a smart dashboard. Uh, I'm going to talk about on next episode where the name Nine Spokes came from because I actually think the name Nine Spokes is actually a pretty cool uh, origin for the name of the show. But they're going to be on board for the next couple months, um, many months, hopefully many months even after that. But if you guys want to check them out, do me a favor. Go to ninespokes.fomofans.live. Uh, sign up, jo hit the join me button button and uh, create your own dashboard. You can even uh, sync up Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook and connect some of your marketing uh, apps like MailChimp and as well as QuickBooks. And it gives you kind of all of that data in one location. And so uh, I'm excited to have them on. Thank you, Nine Spokes, for uh, joining the team. So let's get into the episode around social media ROI. And, and let's face it, uh, I'm no dummy. I have a brand new sponsor. And the sponsor, Nine Spokes, is giving us a 
a snapshot, a dashboard of all of this interactive uh, data for us to make business decisions, right? And one of the things that I love about, you know, what I talk about here on this show and what I really try to focus everybody is that, you know, social media, uh, podcasting, digital, you know, leveraging LinkedIn, creating a website, you know, if you, if you own a business and you are a .com, not a .org, the whole point of this is that you make money, right? The whole point of what you're doing is to grow your business. And the one of the things that I've always really bothered me is that, you know, a lot of people have talked about, you know, hey, there's no so there's no ROI in social media. Or, of course, Gary Vaynerchuk, one of the Gary Vaynerchuk's famous lines, uh, you know, what's the ROI of your mother? Uh, if you guys haven't heard that, of course, uh, it's a famous line from, uh, from Gary V. But when we're talking about social, you know, ROI, and we're talking about how do you prove the value of something, I want to set the stage by first talking about what I believe is most important. Because um, there's some really good blog post articles um, from my friends uh, Jay Bear over at Convince and Convert. If you guys aren't listening to the Social Pros podcast, uh, make sure you check them out. It's one of my favorite podcasts. I've been listening to it for a long, long while. Um, Jay Bear is the host, um, as well as Adam uh, from Salesforce. They do a great job every week. So check out um, my, my good friends over there at Social Pros. They're not paying for that promo. Um, really, what I wanted to say is they have a really good blog post that Jay wrote about, really, about connecting and measuring social media R. ROI. And he says, you know, not tracking social media ROI is your fault. That's the title of the blog post. So I'm going to put the blog post in the show notes of the podcast here. But one of the things that he talks a lot about is campaigns and understanding, you know, how you're documenting things um, that you're working on in the digital space. But I, I believe there's lots of ways to build a campaign um, and, and prove ROI. And you guys can check out that blog post. But I want to go a little bit I want to go a little bit deeper than that or a little bit broader than that maybe um, and really talk about how do we truly document and measure and record all of the things that we're doing in our day-to-day -day basis, all the things that we're doing online so that we can truly go back and measure things or look at things as we go. And so, you know, in my online course, without question, the most popular uh, chapter or the most popular segment of that of that online course um, is that is the part about screenshot awesomeness. And I thought, you know, what better way is it to, to kind of link all of my worlds together than to talk about this concept that I really created created about six years ago. And what happened was, you know, I'm a, I'm a screenshot guy. I mean, I don't know how many of my listeners here, and if you guys are watching here on the live feed, I would love for you guys to, you know, how many people take screenshots of, you know, anytime you get a, an email that is complimentary, or you see something online that's really cool, or maybe you get a message on your phone, uh, a, a cool text message from a client, or a, an email reply to your email newsletter, and someone thanking you for changing their life, right? I, I screenshot, I mean, I probably do somewhere between, you know, 1,100 and 1,300 screenshots every month. And the reason I do that is because for me, it's documenting the entire experience, everything that's going on, because here's an interesting thing about social media, about really the digital world we live in today. We can all say that, man, you know, uh, this was a great day. Someone told me that, you know, that blog post I wrote uh, really helped their day. And then someone else will say, man, I got this email from a client telling me that I was the best agency they've ever worked with. Well, those things are all great. But one of the biggest problems that we have today as as entrepreneurs, as digital uh, natives, as, as, as really purveyors of the digital world is that we will oftentimes spend 10 minutes when, uh, you know, really 10 minutes racking our brain when someone hates on us or we have a troll or someone writes us an email and says, man, your website is full of misspellings and, and I can't believe that, you know, you think you're in business and we'll spend 10 minutes racking our brain and, and really, you know, maybe even more than that, really making, you know, being frustrated with, you know, someone that, that gave us bad news. But oftentimes when we get an email that someone says, great job, you changed my day, you're my favorite, I'm so glad that I hired you, we will usually spend one minute on that, right? We were like, oh, that's awesome. I'm glad that my client was really happy. And then you'll continue on, right? And it's one of those things that in this world with so much distraction, with so much access to different things, we, we don't even realize how much more time we spend on the negative 
than the positive. And spending time is not what I'm focusing this on, but how do we capture those positive moments and then bring them together so that when someone says something, we can pull it, you know, we can actually prove the value. And the reason and, and where screenshot awesomeness came from is that I was working in a data center company. Everyone kind of knows um, my, my background if you've been listening to this show for a while. But I was working with a team that was, um, that was in social media as well as marketing. And I was also working with our sales team for a social selling project as well as with our recruiting team um, on, on recruiting new hires because we were hiring 12 new employees a day or a day a week, 12 new employees a week, which is still a lot, but not 12 new a day. And one of the things that I, I brought the team together and, you know, we had someone that was working on social media, um, shout out to Vincent Orlek, Vincent Orlek, a good friend of mine still to this day, was the man on the marketing side. So I brought someone from marketing together, someone from, from recruiting together, and then someone from sales together. And I said, okay, here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to, over the next month, Every time that you get a, a comment on social media, a LinkedIn message, a reply, a comment to our blog post, maybe a recruit tells us, man, I, I would have never applied for this job if I didn't see um, what was posted on the Facebook or thank goodness for that ad. I want you to take a screenshot of that and I want you to put that into a folder on your desktop. And I want you to I want you to save that for this entire month every time something good happens. And I want you to take a screenshot of the entire screen. And the reason that taking a screenshot of the entire screen is important is you often don't realize when you're capturing good moments what, what you want to remember, right? What time of day it was, what other things that you had going, maybe what other um, responses in the email that you had below hand. So I always said, you know, take an entire screenshot of your, of your desktop. And then I said, if, if something happens when you're at like a, a networking lunch and someone comes up to you as a salesperson and, and tells you that you were doing a great job, take a selfie with them and put that selfie inside of this in this folder right and so long story short we, we did the month and if I went to each individual organization